Hi guys, Pablo back with another video and today we are very close to the parking of Bobies where we are about to start a trail that will take us to the highest peak in the municipality of Morthing. Its name is La Gamonal. So, let's start it. Okay guys, this trail covers a, re a distance of 5.1 kilometers one way, it's a linear one, which means that by the time we reach the car, we will have walked double the distance, 10.2 kilometers. It has an elevation gain of 1,000 meters, so it's a respectable elevation gain and gives us the chance to climb the highest peak in the municipality of Morthing, which has an altitude of 1,709 meters. So I'm hoping it will give us the chance to enjoy very, very good views. So far, I am very impressed with the views I see around my, around this place. And I think it's going to get even better. In any case, let's enjoy the trail together. Well, I wanted to mention that there is an alternative to this trail, much, much easier. Uh, it starts in the parking of Langlilu and ends half an hour later in the same point, which is the Gamonal. I'm saying this just in case you are in a rush or maybe you don't want the complications of a uh, five kilometers, very steep trail, etc. Well, that's an option to consider.
Well, I have to say this particular area, I, it's very similar. It reminds me a lot of Picos de Europa. It, it, uh, it's uh, the, same, uh, the same type of landscape. Uh, of course, it's not exactly the same, it's not the same altitude, etc. But it's like a little Picos de Europa. Okay guys, we arrived to the highest point of the municipality of Morcín in Asturias, north of Spain, and I'm going to propose something li a little bit different from the usual, and is we're going to see if we can identify the peaks that we can see from this summit. And I'm going to write them down so you can have a look at them. And then we go back. <laughs> Well, I had planned to hike this trail last week, but unfortunately uh, the weather was not that good in this area, so I, that's why I decided to hike that trail in Ponga, which by the way was very beautiful. It's just that sometimes I uh, miss going through the mountains. Going through forest areas is quite relaxing and it's very, uh, very nice, there's no question about that. But sometimes I miss the effort, the, the views from the top of the peaks, etc. And, uh, this particular trail gives me 
that opportunity of hike something a little bit harder on the body and also give me the chance to identify peaks in the areas that I visit. Okay guys, there are less than 500 meters left to end the trail and as usual I will give you a few comments about it and first of all, very beautiful trail, there is no question about that. I have to say there is a, a lot of elevation gain to cover in just 5 kilometers so you, you really have to have a certain degree of fitness to be able to hike this one and also something very important in my opinion is that at some points it is relatively easy to get lost and it's because the landscape is very very similar in those points and if you are not careful enough and you don't have any sort of way of knowing where you are it is very likely you, you can get lost actually. So for that very same reason I will strongly suggest you bring a GPS with you or if you know how to use it a compass and a map. And also I will strongly uh, recommend to you to be uh, careful with the fog because it, this area seems to be like a place where fog can appear suddenly and make things a little bit difficult. In any case, as I said, it is a very beautiful trail. In fact, it, at some points I, I thought I was in Picos de Europa. I, the landscape was very, very similar actually. In any case, as I usually say, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share. And in any case, I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.